Danny Morales here with my colleague Frank Shella. We're day one of the Republican National Convention just wrapped up where the theme here was Make America Safe Again. We had lots of speakers show up on that convention floor in the Quicken Lunds Arena. What, what stood out or who stood out to you, Frank? Uh, well, the Make America Safe theme again definitely stood out to me throughout the entire day because every speaker that kind of came up there, they really uh, wanted to put the emphasis on it, whether it was the uh, military uh, speakers, whether it was any of the politicians, uh, especially Rudy, Gi Rudy Giuliani there towards the end. He definitely was the most emphatic speaker of the night. So, And he built up the momentum for uh, Melania Trump. That, that's very true. Rudy kind of at times just seemed like your typical, like he was just mayor of New York. And then at times his volume got very high. And obviously the crowd really fed onto that. So he really just set the table for Melania, didn't he? And it seems like all of the speculation into how long she was setting up for this speech, it turns out like it was all for naught. She, she supposedly knocked it out of the park, huh? Yeah, I think so. Um, she's definitely been, uh, hasn't been a, a huge player throughout the campaign, but I think that was one thing that, you know, just hearing from everybody this week, one thing that the Trump campaign really wanted to do was put his family in the forefront and, you know, kind of give the American people a look inside of, Donald Trump the man and, and not maybe what has been portrayed uh, of him throughout the media, but, you know, giving him an inside look inside his family. One thing that really just stuck out to me, and it was kind of early on, early in the night session, but it was uh, when the military guys came out. They had uh, the lone survivor guy, uh, Marcus, then they also had the two people from the Benghazi attack there uh, in the annex and it was just really I thought it was really interesting to hear these people's stories it wasn't shown very much on the national channels but we got to see it because we were here in the convention center what were your thoughts on some of that that the terrorist talk that was talked about the the radical Islam Rudy talked about it the military guys talked about it I mean is that what you think people were here to hear about I think they accomplished the make America safe again model for day one with those people uh, they brought in people to talk about the current status of this country, you know, some of the things that are going on, the terror crises, and um, they really honed in on that focus and having people that were a part of these attacks, people that have lived it, uh, you kind of can hear it a lot better coming from those kind of people. That's, that's very true. Uh, day one seems to have gone, there wasn't any necessarily uh, angry protesters, anything that happened bad outside of the convention center, necessarily there wasn't besides the roll call vote which happened during the morning session as they were setting up the rules everything seemed to go smooth besides that uh, you were coming from the the queue at that time uh, it seems like things got a little hairy during that roll call uh, about the delegates huh yeah I think uh, that was one thing everybody was wondering coming into this week in general was what was going to be the vibe and was there going to be any sort of contesting and it did have it for a short term, and, you know, it looked like there was a lot of chaos out there. Uh, they were able to bring order to uh, the arena, and after that, I think now going forward, the next few days will kind of be status quo when it comes to how committees are going and how conventions go. So, Without a doubt, I mean, the rhetoric kind of going into this was to unite the party, and that first little spat was obviously kind of not unified, but it seems like now the rules are in place. From what I understand, any delegate that tries to go against that will just be replaced with an alternate. So I think it should be smooth sailing for the rest of the convention, and it should just be speaker after speaker after issue after issue. Totally, and obviously the significance of who will be speaking in the next few days increases as it goes on. You know, we're going to be having Paul Ryan. We're going to be having different people uh, throughout the week, obviously leading up to Thursday's uh, speech by Donald Trump himself. So like you said, Danny, the Republican Party, any party in general, if they want to show unity, they're going to have to, you know, rally around each other and one way or another uh, show a unified party. Before we wrap it up, we have to mention Donald Trump's entrance. Uh, it blew up Twitter. It was lighting up everything, social media. People knew he was going to be introducing his wife, but I don't think they quite expected the showmanship on day one. And uh, did it surprise you to hear Queen and then have a, see a silhouette of the man before he walks out? Honestly, nothing surprises me with Donald Trump anymore. Uh, it's certainly he, he loves the spotlight. He knows how to um, make an entrance. So 
I'll say uh, no, it did not surprise me, but it was uh, certainly entertaining. Well, Frank, that wraps it up for the Valencia Voices coverage of day one of the Republican National Convention. We'll be right back here on Tuesday for day two, which will feature some prominent speakers, including in the morning session, I believe, or in the afternoon session, we'll get UFC President Dana White. And then in the uh, evening session, I believe, we'll get House Speaker Paul Ryan. So that should be a good day. A lot more bigger issues will be talked about. Uh, and things should just build from there. We'll be inside and outside of the arena for that. So make sure you keep it with the Valencia Voice on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter for all your news from the Republican National Convention. This has been Danny Morales with Frank Shala reporting from Cleveland, Ohio.